my wife. She did the biometric. Right. right. But we're waiting on the permit and the the interview date. Okay. We're moving from the address that we are now, or we're planning on moving. Would it delay the process? Depends uh, where are you moving? Are you moving out of the jurisdiction of the local office, or are you just moving down the street? Down the street. Okay, down the street won't delay, but you definitely have to submit an AR-11 to let them know that you've changed your address, and you can also, you should go online, you do it both ways, and go online and change your address as well at USCIS.gov, mm-hmm. so you don't not get your notice date. But moving down the street, as long as you stay in the same office jurisdiction, local office jurisdiction, you'll be fine. Okay, and it won't, like, for instance, I should get it next week. It won't delay? No. No, there'll be no delay. There's only a delay if they have to transfer your file to a different office. You're concerned that you move an address and your case is going to be delayed. And what I'm saying is the file stays in the same office. There's no delay. They just mail the notice to a different address. Why there is a uh-huh. delay when you move, let's say you live in, you live up in Boston, because that's where you say you live. Let's say you move mm-hmm. to New York. Now you're in a different jurisdiction. Boston has to transfer the file from Boston to New York. And when New York receives it, it goes to the end of the line in New York. And there's your delay. But as long as Boston doesn't have to transfer the file to a different office, you're fine. Okay, that's good. You understand? That's good. That's- uh, yeah, I understand. Right, but just make sure you make the address change online and submit the AR-11, do both. All right, so what if they send it off before? Can I go to the post office and change it? Of course, do that as well. Do that as well. All right. All right? All right, thank you very much. All All right. right, best of luck.